What's popping in the streets, everybody? I believe, therefore, I'm King Silent. Hope you're doing all right today. Uh, obviously, you guys can see what it is. Part three of Desert Storm 4 predictions. Uh, first and foremost, before we get started, I do apologize about my voice. Uh, I've been feeling a little sick, and I do apologize for the delay. As y'all know, out here in Texas, the seasonal weather really kicks me in the ass, and I have really bad allergies. And your boy right now is uh, shooting these videos with a little bit of a temperature, so please... Please keep me in your prayers, and what you can definitely do to make me feel better is make sure that you go to the bottom corner right here and subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment, like, or share the video. Let me know your thoughts on who you think uh, is going to win these predictions, but uh, we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. Again, make sure that you go and subscribe to the channel, please. Anything that you, Any type of attention that you provide my channel helps propel it forward, which also keeps strength in my feet and helps me keep going forward, so... Appreciate y'all rocking with me. So let's uh let's go ahead and get to it. So part three. First battle that we have is twin Capone versus twin dead end. Now I like this particular battle, and if I'm being honest, this is the this battle uh has the potential to be my favorite. Um the reason why I say it uh because I think these are both they're not new cats, but they are very they're young cats um in terms of years, um, and they have very similar styles. Um, in terms of looking at them. Um, so we have Twin Capone, who is very um, theatrical, is very catty, a little cocky when you watch him dance. He's also a buckhead. And then we also have uh, Twin Dead End, who's a buckhead as well, who's also very catty. And a little bit more, um, dare I say, I, I would say a little bit more conceptual as far as like his movements. Um, and that's not to say that Twin Capone doesn't use it um, as well. But I do think that he does much more engulf it into in terms of like the stage presence that or whatever the idea um, that he's presenting on the dance floor. I wouldn't necessarily say that he's a storyteller, um, but that's why I kind of say he's a little bit more theatrical. Um, if you kind of want to understand kind of what I'm saying, if you go back and watch his battle when he was at uh, Desert Storm, I'm sorry, not Desert Storm, but the uh, um, the real uh, versus Mighty. Uh, that was a really good example uh, of him. So as far as like that theatrics um so getting straight to it i think in terms of when i look at this particular battle i'm gonna go with twin capone for the win um mainly one because of the experience and of course being on a big stage um i have seen twin dead in here and there but really um there isn't a lot of battles that i've seen him on a big stage or going up against a lot of heavy hitters um so i, I would definitely say that that experience is going to play a factor and then not to mention being able to capitalize on that stage is going to be a really big factor um, it's not to say that I, um, I sleep on them in any way, because again, both of these guys are very versatile in terms of movement. So I don't think anything physically is gonna be restricting either of them. Um, and I've seen, uh, in my personal opinion, I have seen Twin Dead End um, connect or uh, get into better pockets of movements as far as like get off, uh, particularly when it comes to this bat uh, certain battles. So I do think that is one variable that I think that he does do better than Capone. Um, if he does kind of get in there, structures his round very well, and gets straight to the point and then just takes it all the way up, uh, the same way that he did when he battled um, when he battled Q at uh, Desert Storm with the last one, <laughs> um, I think he can run with it, run away with it. Uh, if he produces two rounds just as well, obviously it's going to be better because time has passed, but if he produces two rounds the same way he did in his first round against Q, um, he can win this battle. Uh, but looking at, uh, looking at it overall, I'm gonna go with Twin Capone in terms of uh, uh, experience and uh, creativity overall. So yeah, next battle we have a tag battle. Now first things first, let me say this before I say anything. Um, obviously we look at tag battles very differently. Um, they are not one-on-one -on -one battles. And in my personal opinion, they should not be judged as one-on-one -on -one battles. It's not a, okay, you go, then this person go, and then you go, and then this person go. Um, if I, I think, and I'm pretty sure uh, Dead End will follow that uh, blueprint. If I imagine it may be, okay, you guys have a round together, and then maybe one of you, you guys have a round each after that. So it may be three rounds on each side, whatever the case may be, you know, see how, how that potentially goes. But um, looking at this particular battle, um, so looking at, uh, we have uh, uh, the Crowns fam. So looking at uh, little crowns and big crowns, obviously. Uh, let me just pull their flower up so that way I have it on hand right here. Um, looking at this particular battle, I think that it's going to be 
Um, I think it's going to be a good one. Um, if I'm being real, I haven't necessarily seen either of these two work together, so it's kind of hard to say. I have seen them separately. Um, I do know that um, uh, Lil Crowns um, is very material heavy, very combo heavy. I did see him when he came out to the real, um, and he battled influence. He did amazing. And then, of course, we know, already know Crowns himself um, for being heavy, material based, combo heavy, versatile in terms of, of Crump um, and a Buckhead as well. So, I mean, that's, that's a pretty pretty solid package. And obviously, I mean, they're, they're in the same fam, so I would assume same city. They're going to work together, and it's going to be a really good, really good battle. Um, and then, of course, we have the Skills fam. Now, unfortunately, I really haven't seen much from the Skills fam. I've seen Skills before. Again, like I said, he is the old baby flesh killer. I do know um, that he is very um, unorthodox and very um, kind of concept heavy. I have seen him uh, use material. But unfortunately, I haven't really seen much of him since the last time that I saw him when I was in Arizona uh, for the Desert Storm. Or I'm sorry, the Blackout event. I've, I've been saying Desert Storm, but I mean the Blackout event. But um, yeah, this was kind of hard to tell and as far as the little homie as well. Um, I haven't seen much of him either. Um, so it's kind of hard to go by if, I, if I'm being real. Um, so if I'm looking at it based off of teamwork and not looking at them as individuals, I'm probably going to go with... Um, I'm probably going to go with the Crowns fam because I've seen, obviously, as a fam, I've seen the dynamics that they share in terms of creativity, material, combos, things of that nature. I do think they will work very well. Um, and then I'm just looking at it again. Like I said, I know skills is just a very unorthodox dancer. And I know when you have that little level of um, unorthodoxness, if that's a word, um, it is really hard to to kind of match that. It definitely makes you unique. Like, don't don't question it at all. I'm not putting anything past him because I haven't seen his little homie like that. Because um, for all we know, he can come out there and be, you know, a fucking whirlwind. It is what it is. But, um, yeah, based off of that, I'm probably going to, I'm going to go with the Crowns fan. Um, but I do look forward to this match. And I do definitely hope they actually do it like a two-on-two -two and not like a one-on-one. -on -one. But we'll see what happens with that. So then the uh, next battle that we have, we have Baby Rex versus Baby Dead End. Another good battle, um, pretty different. Um, Styles Clash, so of course, you know, that's always entertaining. Uh, Baby Rex, of course, being an orthodox, very material heavy um, and very concept heavy. And then we have Baby Dead End, who is very, who's, who is very versatile, um, but is much more uh, smash mouth, um, material heavy and is a buckhead. Um, now, for this particular battle, just coming right out of the gate, um, I'm going to go in favor of Baby Rex for this battle. Now, the reason why I say that is because, one, first and foremost, again, um, Baby Dead End is a very Smash Mouth dancer, which, of course, like I said, is just very, very rugged, very in your face, very, you know, very straight to the point and very direct. Um, that's always kind of been his MO. But Baby Rex is from the East Coast, and if I'm just simply being real, that's what they live on that's what they thrive on so that in your face energy in my personal opinion won't necessarily work in this particular scenario and what's more is that when we do look at baby rex like he does have everything that baby dead end does have now i do admit that i've seen um baby dead end have much more structured rounds as far as like okay showing this showing this showing this showing this but as we said before, Crump is not a checklist. You don't just check stuff off and that means that you automatically win. So, excuse me, my biggest concern is in that particular situation is that, you know, Baby Dead End does get out there and produce a really good round. You know, he's being smash mouth, very in, um, in your face, you know, getting Baby Dead End or Baby Rex's face. All right, what is your going to be rebuttal if Baby Rex gets out there and he has everything that you has? I haven't really seen him do hack moves like that. Um... <clears throat> As much as I've seen Baby Dead End do, or Baby Dead End doing, but as far as in terms of combos and material, and also really being able to build off of a moment, um, that's those are the bigger things that I have not seen from Baby Dead End. Baby Dead End is kind of very just, he's a sledgehammer. Like he's just gonna come in there and it's, it's just, you know, get directly to the point. It's not about being surgical or being pretty or anything like that. Not to say that's a bad thing. <coughs> that's just how some people get down, like when it comes to their craft. But just look, looking at that, um, you know, I think that Baby Rex is going to have the edge here um, because I, I don't know if Baby N is going to be able to rebuttal the type.
type of movement that baby that baby Rex brings to the table. Um, I always say, if, like you know, you're able to do one thing well, and then you can also do it in two different ways. You're much more inclined to win, and I apply that <clears throat> in a variety of ways, whether we, however you look at it. So, um, I it's not that I don't think baby did, baby daddy can't win. Uh, I just think in terms of creativity of movement overall. I think that's what sets him apart, um, and maybe uh, Baby Dead in some his approach sometimes is a little bit linear um, when he battles opponents. So yeah, that's why I'll say I, I go in favor of uh, Baby Rex for this battle. <clears throat> Next battle we got coming up: Kill Bill versus Landmine. Another interesting battle. I'm really excited to see this particular one. Both of these cats are coming off of battles uh, recently. We just saw Landmine at the uh, the East session. Uh, I just saw Kill Bill a couple days ago, <clears throat> um, and he battled as well. And we also saw him not too long ago when he battled um, Limbs. So looking at uh, looking at these two, so Kill Bill is of course very conceptual, um, <clears throat> very story, uh, very conceptual, very material heavy, and is a storyteller, um, and can be a little goofy sometimes as well. He does kind of have like that. Um, heavy character influence uh, within his uh, style of crump um, but he does have moments where he can be kind of goofy and kind of comical which really we don't see that much in, in, a, in, in a lot of people's crump these days so it, it's very refreshing to see that and then we have Landmine um, who is <clears throat> a buckhead as well very material heavy very combo heavy um, and uh, he does bring a lot of uh, character to um, uh, a lot of character to his uh, his craft as well. So, looking at this particular battle, the most obvious thing that stands out for me, in my honest opinion, is going to be the versatility of movement, um, and that is obviously in favor of Kill Bill. When I look at musicality or creativity, I do think uh, Kill Bill does take a much more wider approach to it. Um, I think that Landmine is structured very well when it comes to his. Um, when it comes to his battles, I mean, he does make sure to um, incorporate them into his round, around his fundamentals, which most people will usually do. Um, so I would definitely say, in my personal opinion, uh, and it's not a diss to him, but I do think that Landmine, um, kind of similar to kind of like Baby uh, Dead End, he does bring a very safe approach to his craft. Um, and it usually works for him. So that's not me downplaying him in any way. Um, but then when you look at Kill Bill, um, I don't think Kill Bill can enter as far as a lot of pockets of get off as well as landmine or um, build the same way that he get, he can um, with get off. But I do definitely think that he can definitely sway a crowd very well because his character and his creativity is very um, surprising and unorthodox. So usually like, you know, like I have a saying, you know, a lot of sayings, but crumbers don't know what they want until they actually see it. And I think that plays very heavily um, in that factor uh, when it comes to this particular battle. So looking at this overall, um, I'm going to edge this battle to Kill Bill, uh, mainly for the creativity. It is definitely a style clash, and I don't think that they'll personally go the, the same route as obviously battling, or they can you know, both reach that, that, that live point uh, the same. But as far as like versatility of movement, we've seen a lot more, a lot more variety from him. Um, and in terms of creativity, you know, um, I think that that uh, goes in favor of him. But one particular aspect I definitely um, kind of looking at both of these two for um, that I will play a big part, I think is going to be the stamina factor. Because both of them kind of do have a tendency to where they'll get, they build kind of slowly, but then when they get to that point, they have to kind of reset sometimes. So I guess depending on like, you know, who's able to maintain that momentum throughout the entire round or in the entire battle, I think that's who the, favor, the battle's going to go in favor of two. Um, but this one's a toss-up. It could go either way. So, But uh, overall, my vote goes to Kill Bill. Um, and then lastly, we have Miho Raw versus Matrix. So we have Miho Raw, um, which is a very catty, um, very style-heavy, and very character-heavy. Um, and then, of course, we have Matrix, who is very material-heavy, um, can be Smash Mouth as well, um, theatrical, and combo heavy as well and he does apply a lot of um, creativity just to his craft overall now this particular battle is very was very close for me and I had to kind of go back and forth with this one quite a bit because when I in terms of I look at in terms of I guess 
a bag of tricks, it obviously goes in favor of Matrix. Um, and then, of course, when we look at variety of movement, also goes in, in, in favor of Matrix as well. But then when I, I look at Miho Raw, Miho Raw is no pushover. Uh, he's has been around the way for a very, very long time. Um, and I think like one thing that is very, very slept on um, about a lot of crumpers that I, I definitely, even when I battled him at, at um, the Wasteland, I saw that he's very good as far as like pulling a moment, moment awareness, which is something I, I think people often sleep on uh, a lot. Um, but it's one of those situations to where like, I, I gotta ask the question, you know, what type of, I haven't necessarily seen a very kill throw or um, uh, a, a, a deadly Miho or like one that's, I don't wanna say deadly, but I mean, just one that's just very like cerebral. Like I'm not here to for a good time, I'm, I'm here to kill you. Um, I think that's the one Miho Raw that I haven't necessarily seen. Um, definitely can get live, definitely, um, Definitely no stranger as far as like doing hat movements or creativity and stuff like that. I think just over time his style has changed, um, in my personal opinion. Um, so if I'm being real, this battle, in my personal opinion, can go either way. Um, if I had to look at this, you know, in terms of just like experience alone and then being able to like really control a battle, I would go in favor of Mio Raw. Um, but then when I look at the other things that I've seen that Matrix is very well capable of doing, I would go in, in favor of, of Matrix. Um, I would just simply say maybe by like a small percentage, very, very small percentage, um, so don't kill me, I'd have to go in favor of Miho Raw. Um, so that's just kind of how I, I look at that particular battle, but I think that can sway in any particular direction because if Matrix comes out there and composes a really solid round and Miho Raw's only response is it is just, if the response to it is just get off and just crump, you know, if, dare I say, it may make his crump look um, not basic, but, well, basic, you know, <laughs> maybe kind of dry, especially if, you know, he doesn't capture the room um, first, which is probably the biggest factor. Whoever gets the momentum or whoever gets that first round controls the momentum of the battle, in my personal opinion, and whoever goes first. Those are big things to think about. So yeah, so all in all, uh, recapping all those. Uh, so my winners for the, the battles that I have is Twin Capone, Crowns Fam, Baby Rex, Kill Bill, and then Miho Raw um, by a small rock margin. Don't kill me, please. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Let me know who you think will win the battle. Am I capping? Am I reaching? Am I tripping? You know, or do you think I'm just completely wrong utterly? Let me know what you think. See you on the next one. Peace. Thank you.